That's over 2%, right? You know, 2.3%. And, and it really highlights the need for educational health and other systems of care to be able to build to that capacity. You know, most of us don't have to look too far to find a connection to autism in our lives, right? Whether that be our own family or our neighbors or our school, our classrooms, our communities, right? It's, I think having this data about how common autism is allows us to think about, well, how, how can we actually integrate individuals and include meaningfully autism into universities, medical centers, employment situations, our families, our broader community, that number drives from the fact that we have to do that, right? There's a huge need to do that. And failing to do that marginalizes a huge percentage of a population that has all kinds of different abilities, skills, in addition to areas of vulnerability.